What is up my friends? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super. Now recently some leaks have been discovered regarding Dragon Ball Super episode 94, 95, 96, 97 and even episode 98. Um, recently, in yesterday's video, I talked about how if there were like any errors in the video or, you know, just to make a video of it, if any spoilers released uh, afterwards, I would cover it. So this is me living up to my promise, as always. So the title leaks, shout out to Herms over on Twitter. I've got the link to his Twitter in the description below, and I've also got the link to my Twitter in the description below, so go give both of us a follow. Uh, Herms, uh, Herms translated this, and we've got different episodes. I mean, we've got episode 94, 95, 96, 97, and 98, but in Dragon Ball Super episode 94, it's going to be called Resurrection of the Evil Emperor, the Mysterious Awaiting Assassins. That episode is going to be airing on June 11th. Now, on June 18th, we're going to be getting Dragon Ball Super episode 95 a week afterwards, which basically is called the Wickedest... The evilest. Frieza runs wild. So basically it sounds like just from the title of that episode that he's just going to go crazy and kind of abandon Universe 7. <laughs> now in episode 96, another week later, we've got on June 25th, Dragon Ball Super episode 96 will be airing. And it's called The Time Has Come to the World of Void where the universe's fates will be decided. So basically in that episode, everybody is going to be leaving for the Tournament of Power. Unfortunately, Frieza's kind of abandoned Universe 7 from the sounds of it. And Universe 6, I mean, they're, or Universe 7, they're like one member short. So they're probably either going to have to recruit PyCon or maybe Cell or Yamcha. I'm hearing a lot of Yamcha lately because he's just like really wanting to be a part of the team. I mean, as weak and pathetic as he is... Most likely, I, he probably won't even be able to do much, but one of the good things about Yamcha being in the tournament is if he dies, I mean, no matter what, everybody's going to die. So, or for the most part, mostly everybody, because um, Daishin Khan, the Grand Priest, basically said that if you are eliminated from the tournament, you're, like, dead. You're going to be killed on the spot. So this is going to lead Vegeta and Goku and Gohan to, like, their breaking point they're they're gonna this is gonna make them drive in, like crazy and they're gonna ascend to their next transformation which it, it's gonna the, their the death of their friends is gonna like basically make it so they go to their limit their their breaking point and they're gonna ascend to the next level they're gonna this the thought of this and this happening it's gonna drive them crazy i mean just imagine your own race, your own kind, people you're so close to, people you love just dying in front of your eyes. Doesn't that just make you sad or just like want to go crazy, just like just go insane? I mean, look at what happened with Goku. He used the pain of loss and transformed into a Super Saiyan. Vegeta, you know, he was so close to death. All hope was lost, he felt as if, and he transformed into a Super Saiyan. And I mean... The pain of loss is strong with these characters, so seeing those closest to them dying is going to definitely do something. It's going to awaken some kind of power within them that's going to be discovered, that's going to just appear, and they're going to transform, or, or something's going to happen. Something big is going to happen, but Daishinkan made this clear, that once you are eliminated, you're going to die. So, I mean, with Yamcha in the tournament, if he dies by i mean like before he's eliminated from the tournament he <laughs> that universe responsible for killing yamcha is probably going to be destroyed i mean there's no killing allowed in the tournament whatsoever on the other hand if you are eliminated you're gonna die on the spot so the the thought of i mean that's just insane so Yamcha is probably going to replace whoever is going to, you know, just abandon Universe 7, which is probably most likely going to be Frieza from the sounds of it. If it's not Frieza and it's somebody else, I mean, Yamcha could take his place. They could get PyCon or Cell, but there's not really a lot of time for that. I mean, maybe future Trunks will come back uh, because in episode 97, it's called Survive. The certain finale opens on the Tournament of Power. 
So basically, I mean, that episode is going to kind of like link with 96, where everyone's going to be hanging out at the Tournament of Power. They're going to come to discover information. They're going to like get to know each other. And then episode 98, that's when the actual tournament begins. Everybody's going to be fighting each other. But I'm curious, and a lot of other people are curious, who is that final warrior going to be? Is it going to be Future Trunks? Is it going to be PyCon? Is it going to be Yamcha? Is it going to be Cell? I mean, if they were to throw Cell and PyCon in there immediately without disclosing any kind of information whatsoever and just throwing them in there, that would kind of be pretty crappy, I mean, for them to just appear there. So they would have to focus on an entire episode of just bringing them back. Uh, that would make more sense, but it seems as if they're not going to go to that extent. It's not going to be PyCon. It's not going to be Cell. It's going to be somebody that's already living that is around the area. So I would have to either say it's Yamcha or maybe Future Trunks arrives and they just decide to recruit him or something and just be like, oh my gosh, you are a neck saver. We're just going to grab you. We need you, Trunks. Please join our team. And then he's just put in an awkward situation and he's like, uh, okay, Goku. I mean, I could definitely see that. Anyway, guys. That's pretty much a wrap on today's video. Let me know which episode you're most excited for. Who do you think? In the comment section below, tell me who do you think it's going to be that is going to join Team Universe 7. I mean, if if it's nobody, if it's not Yamcha or Future Trunks, then Goku's just going to have no choice but to go into the tournament without a set complete team. He's going to there's going to be 9 members. So Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please keep living life to the fullest every single day. Live positive and enjoy life. I got more videos coming out throughout the week. On the weekend, I'll be covering Super Episode 94. And I've also got more videos coming next week. So thank you guys again. Give Herms a follow. Give me a follow. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the support on these videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please be sure to do so and turn mobile notifications on so you can be the first to watch my newest videos the moment they come out. As always, guys, much love. I really appreciate it and enjoy life. Peace.